particles in a thundering typhoon! Where are we going? What am I doing here? Who on earth are you again? Just calm down! Ten thousand typhoons! Hold on! I need to be back on the water. I feel funny. Be patient. Get me down from here. <sighs> Captain, will you stop yelling, please? I've got to stay focused. We're going to die. Out of the question. I hate these flying tubs. I know, Captain, I know. Snowy? Ah, oh, there you are, you little rascal. You've been chasing cats again, eh? What do you want to show me? Easy, Snowy! Is this what you want me to see? Easy, boy! Good dog! You're right. She is a beauty. Ah, uh, she is. She's a real crooner. You mean schooner? Well, that's what I said. Hmm. And she's yours for 90. Snowy, why are you so interested in a model ship? <laughs> you can't eat it. I'll give you 50 for it. Sold for 70, and I'd say you've got a real bargain. Huh. How much for the boat? I'm afraid you're too late, sir. I'll buy it off you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not interested in selling it. Wait a minute. I'm a collector. I'll give you ten times what you paid for it. I'm sorry. Listen, young man. I'm warning you. Easy, boy. That's enough, Snowy. I'm very sorry. Good day. Well, that's very strange. We're not the only ones who fancy this old model. I'm beginning to think there's more to this than meets the eye. What do you think, Snowy? I know someone who knows a thing or two about boats. Shall I introduce you? Oh, yes. Thanks. Let's go. So you bought the Unicorn. That's his name. Triple Master, Double Decks, 50 Guns, and famous for all the wrong reasons. The Unicorn? Yeah, you should take a look at this. Hmm. The Unicorn, a valiant ship of Charles II's fleet, Triple Master, Double Decks, 50 Cannons. 1676, the Unicorn left Barbados, set sail for Europe when she was attacked at sea by Red Rackham. The captain abandoned his crew and blew up his own ship. Do you hear that, Snowy? This act of cowardice would bring dishonor down on the captain's descendants for generations. Wow. The captain of the Unicorn, Sir Francis Haddock.
he sank his own ship. Why? Why would he send the unicorn to the bottom of the sea? It doesn't say. History is never truly in the past, young man. History is in our blood. What an odd drawing. It looks like there's a... I'll take it. Thank you, sirs. And have a lovely day. It looks like the mast could be turned. Ah. There's something inside this model. <laughs> Good old Snowy! So that's what you sensed, eh? It's rolled up. Some kind of document. An old scroll. Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company sailing in the noonday sun will speak. What kind of gibberish is that? That's him. Galleon must be long gone by now. Snowy, it's up to you. They're after the scroll. I'm sure of it. We're on the right track. What is it? Marlin Spike Hall. M and G Bird. Ringing it won't help much now, will it? Huh? He's going into the bird's place. What do we do, Alan? Nothing for now. We don't want to be spotted. This park is gigantic. It's too risky. We need to find another way in, Snowy. There must be more tracks around here. Did you find something? An old trail. Well, you have it. Some kid bought it right from under my nose. We got it back. There's nothing inside. The kids found the scroll for sure. Hmm. Let's put it back in its place. We'll figure it out later. That's the man from the flea market. We have to get my model back. Let's try and follow them. Dead end again. Eureka, Snowy. Let's follow it. Rats always find a way inside. It'll guide us. They definitely know about the scrolls. Keep at it. Keep searching. Are you onto something?
Snowy! I can't follow you. You'll have to open up a way for me to get in. beneath Marlin's bike. We did it! But first, I'm giving you the scroll, Snowy. If I get caught, they won't think to search you. Bravo, Snowy! Oh! Oh! We must find the unicorn. Ah, it looks like some kind of crypt. Ah. We're not alone here. Time. It certainly wasn't easy fighting that ship. Yes, so I heard. Hey, stop! Oh. <laughs> The story of a lifetime, Snowy. Oh! 
The birds are sure to know a lot about this unicorn. The mountains. This is where we weed out the men from the boys. Ah, now we'll see the real climbers. What? I have to find out more about this scroll. Tracks, no way. I nothing like the grand tour for thrills. Go, Luisa. I like copying myself. <sighs> I'm going to get a stiff neck in these drafty hallways. Day off tomorrow. Close to the unicorn. I can feel it. Oh no. Gracious. upstairs somewhere. I'm sure of it. Here. 
Hear that, Spooey? We finally made it out. Be careful. Please be prompt tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. in the kitchens. Oh! Ah! Hey. I don't know what's got into me, but I feel like a good brawl. Anyone seen my feather duster? Find the birds. Go on, Snowy. Good boy. My ah. shoes are all muddy. Stiff neck in these dry hallways. Bravo, Snowy! Hmm. Time to hit the sack. Anyone seen the silver pulse? What? Oh! oh. The birds can't be very far now. By the way, did you have that little talk with the guard? Have the masters come home? Make sure we're not disturbed. Of course, sir. I'm more attached to Marlin Spike than to its owners. Now to find the naval room. I'm blind as a bat in here. <clears throat> How long have we been working here now? It's my day off tomorrow. By the way, did you have that little talk <sighs> with the gardener? <laughs> Vermin in this place.
The birds must not stay here often. The mystery becomes clearer. My word, do you mind keeping it down? But it's the Tour de France. Huh? Oh. Oh. My shoes are all muddy. of yours now. Always helps to find a new approach to a sticky situation. What? It's bad luck to open an umbrella inside. Snowy, good boy. Keep it up, my friend. Good work, boy. Mm. These old buildings attract I'm dust like magnets. Working here now.
Well, they were right about needing to clean house. This is it. I can sense it. By the way, did you have that little talk with the gardener? my feather duster. this morning would be this eventful. Wow! Incredible! This is some collection. A real private museum. My unicorn! And another unicorn! Remember, Snowy? Three unicorns sailing in the noonday sun. So, this is the little brat from the market, Max. I think you have something that belongs to us. What are you talking about? That's my ship! I paid for it! You really should have sold her when I asked. You too. You're searching for the unicorns, aren't you? Why are you so interested in these unicorns? There were three unicorns, all built by Sir Francis Haddock. Heirlooms for his three sons. Shut it! You talk too much. And each ship has a scroll hidden in the mast. Now, what would that be about, I wonder? It's nothing. Those ships are not important. You expect me to believe that? I'd guess we're talking about buried treasure. Is that right? You ask too many questions. It's my job. It's what I do. That's enough! If you have the scroll, I want it. Or what? He disappeared. Watch yourself. He's small but tough. And now, let's see what you unicorns have up your sleeves. Must be mine. Let's try the other one. Yes, Snowy! We've got it! Nothing there either. Dirty little pest. Gracious. Is this what you're looking for? The scroll. He has it with him.
scroll! I don't have the scroll! Then we won't be needing you anymore. <laughs> Ow! Huh? Huh? Why, thank you, gentlemen. I believe I owe you one. Alan, I've got it! Hey, what are you doing? You mean, you're also looking for... Who are you? Bring him along. He knows things. Oh, matey, how'd you like your new quarters? Who are you? Where are you taking me? On a nice cruise. Travel broadens the mind, don't you agree? Do you work for the Bird Brothers? The Bird Brothers are no longer a problem. They were even quite, shall we say, cooperative. My boss wants the other one. Where is it? Sorry, gentlemen. Can't help you. <sighs> Did you search him? Yeah, Tintin. Press card and that's it. No scroll. Hmm. Shall we chuck him overboard? Okay, genius. I'll let you explain that one to the boss. Lieutenant! Not now. You need it. It's the captain. He's, uh... <sighs> what, again? He's gone off the deep end. <sighs> All right, I'm coming. If I were you, I'd start talking now, before we make port. on Alan's scroll. Oh. 
it's going. must have been here. These scrolls have got to mean something. Can't wait to get off this tub. Thank <laughs> you. 
going. That haddock's a real. <laughs> Don't move! Huh? <laughs> Gears. Easy working in another language. Quiet, all right. All it's right. okay. Everything's fine. Who are you? Uh, me. No one. Don't mind me. I'm already gone. Were you talking to someone, Captain? Uh, uh no one. So, Captain, what's all this fuss Alan, about, then? I'm sick of being hauled up in here. What's wrong? You got a nice cabin. I'm hauled up in the hold. And what I want is my boat back. My boat. I don't think that's a good idea. But I'm the captain. Sure you are. 
but you know full well. What? Your family has never been very good with ships. Ugh. And we know why. Oh, the cars. Precisely. Listen, the ship's in good hands with me, but you'll get it back soon. I just need the helm for this little operation. Uh, listen, I was just saying to Tim... Me? I was telling Tim that we need you. Huh? There you go. Red is for longitude, blue for latitude. Crayons! Be a sport and calculate our heading for the next two hours, eh? You think I'm a fool? Scoundrel! Imposter! Have fun now. I've got a passenger to deal with. What sort of passenger? An unwelcome one. Remember, red for latitude, blue for longitude. But you said the opposite, Chief. Ah, go make a plank, then walk it. <sighs> Who was that? Was it Alan? Where was he going? Um, up top. To the wheelhouse. <laughs> In the control room. Is oh. it true that you're the captain of this ship? He can't have gotten very far.
Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company. Why did you decide to stick your nose in my affairs? You're the ones who forced me to come along. Uh, well, if you give me your scroll, you can get off my ship at the next port. You're lying, and this is not your ship. Ah, oh, so you met Haddock. Well, he isn't the captain anymore. He's what you might call a shipwreck. Haddock? The captain's name is Haddock! Ah! Come and fight! Drop your weapon, Alan! Man to man! Man to pipsqueak, more like! Where we can see him. Give me your scroll. What's so special about that? Stop right where you are. This has got to end now. Will you crawl out of your hole already? It's not. scroll. That's the scroll he stole from the Bird Brothers. I think I'll keep that. Might be useful. And now I'm going to put things straight with that Captain Haddock. If there's some link between him and Sir Francis Haddock, there's a high chance he can help us. Three brothers. We know that there are three scrolls. Mine, the Bird Brothers. Let's think, Snowy. I don't know who Alan works for, but I'm willing to bet he's got the third scroll. Captain, are you the descendant of Sir Francis Haddock? Captain of the Triple Masted Unicorn under King Charles II? Huh? Who are you again? My name is Tintin. I'm a reporter. I have in my possession two scrolls handwritten by the very same Sir Francis Haddock. I'm in search of treasure. The long lost treasure of the unicorn. That's enough! I don't want to talk about all that! Alan! Alan is a bandit. He's double crossed you so he can take command of your ship. And you know it. I'm going to have you put in irons! Oh! oh, oh, oh. 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 Captain, I can help you as much as you can help me. Just tell me what you know. It is the year 1676. The Unicorn, a valiant ship of King Charles II's fleet, has left Barbados in the West Indies and set sail for Europe. The captain is indeed my ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock, to my great misfortune. Two days at sea, a good stiff breeze, and the unicorn is reaching on the starboard tack. Suddenly, 
there's a hail aloft from the crow's nest. Sail on the port bow! <sighs> the Jolly Roger. Pirates. Worse. Red Rackham. The wind's in their favour. We've got to outsell them. She's on the the poop. Stand by to haul to the wind. Then, we shall fight. Gunners, to your stations. Fire! We put a hole through our ship! But it wasn't enough. Prepare to be boarded! They're swarming over the side! Dump water! Who is that, Captain? The devil. I wish it were, Mr. Legedek. I wish it were. I knew I'd find you down here, Haddock! Come! 
roaring with the rats in the bottom of the hole. Huh? In the pun! Curse you! I know. Ha! Ah! Anthro Pistol! I know Carbon! Barnacles! What have I done? We have to get out of here now! Hurry! <gasps> My ship! What have I done? <gasps> this way, sailor! Save yourself! <gasps> we have to get out of here this instant! to get out of here alone.
Looks like they're safe too. Captain! The captain must die with his ship. Nobody has to die for a ship. I should have! And my ancestor too. Your ancestor? Why? How does his story end? He fled. Like a coward. Abandoned his own ship. And destroyed it. He sacrificed his crew. Captain! 
going to make it! Everything spinning! I want to go back to the sea! Oh. Captain, we made it! We're alive! We're... Huh? Completely out of gas! Going to make it. Oh, great snakes! Oh, the captain! Billions of blistering! Oh, you all right, Captain? Sand. Don't tell me. We're on the beach. We made it. It's not the beach, Captain. Not at all. Alan sent us. He was worried about me? No, he wants the boy. Of course. He forced me to go with him. He stole the plane. On your feet. We're taking you to the boss. You've got some explaining to do. And by the way, it wasn't me who sunk the ship. It was him. Why not keep your mouth shut? Hmm? You're giving me a headache. What? Is that a traditional Arab greeting? Oh. Oh, that's what I call a headache. All right, Tintin. It looks as if we are on the same side. The land of thirst. He dragged me to the land of thirst. Courage, Captain. We must get to Bagar. What do you want from me in the end? Don't you realize what's at stake? If we don't uncover the secret of the unicorn first, I've lost the story. Oh, yes. I wouldn't want to stand in the way of a career opportunity. It's my job. And it's my life. You tough to ginger boy scout. <laughs> what in the world is... Where are you? Oh, this water swamp! Great snakes! Ah, We're under attack! Pack Fire, Captain! Keep your eyes on the road! I'll take care of these clowns! Who are these thunder years? Oh! Eyes of pots! Artichokes! Bootleggers! Truck! Come on! It's just like at the fair! Ah! You're making me seasick! Stop their vehicles! Aim at their tires! There they are! Oh! Dinoscopes! We win them! Jackers. Bravo, Captain! Interplanetary pirate! You're done, lad! Pick him! Come on, son! We've got them now! This desert is not the least bit deserted! Stay on the road! Swat that mosquito! Ectoplasmic byproducts! Subtropical sea lice! You okay? A little shaken up. Back up of hills, Latin price, ceratops, weevils, zapotex.
They're coming at us from every direction! We got them, Captain! Victory! Alan must have reached Bagar by sea! Unless that's a mirage, we made it, Captain! You're right! Mm, what a wonderful smell! The sea! We've reached the sea! Water! Now that's worth celebrating! I couldn't bear another second with all that sand! Time to go find out who Alan's boss is. He must have the third scroll. Right, what's next? Alan must be around here. We've got to find him. How are we going to find out? We'll ask the people. I'm sorry. Excuse me, have you seen this man before? The man in the photo? He hangs around a lot with Sidi Ben Salah. Smells like trouble. Who is this Ben Salad? A trader from around here. Why all these questions? Goodbye. <sighs> I'd like to learn a little more about the business dealings of this Mr. Ben Salad. Loads of stuff. I don't know. Ah. So it's this Ben Salad giving the orders. Goodbye. Hmm? Ah. Please. Do you know where I can find the Emir, Ben Salad? In his palace at the edge of town. You can see it from the promenade. You're not seriously suggesting we go there, are you? Excuse me. Have you heard anything about a shipwreck off the coast of Bagar recently? Yes. In fact, some people arrived in Bagar by rowboat. They're safe and sound. They got away! Thank you. Good morning. I know that opera singer. What is she doing here? Oh, she's giving a recital for Sidi Ben Salad, I, I think. Do you know where I can find the Emir, Ben Salad? Uh, you can see his palace from the promenade. You're not seriously suggesting we go there, are you? Thank you. I'm sorry. Do you know where I can find the Emir, Ben Salad? That's his palace. We can see it from here. Thank you. Well? This way. How does one visit this palace? It's private property. Is there a way in? You are too curious, my friend. Thank you. Good morning. Are you Kareem? What can I do for you? Was this man among the survivors of the shipwreck this morning? Yes, he was sitting right here just a moment ago. Thank you. Snowy, see what you can do, boy. Anything to add, Captain? I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Have you been here before? Long, long time ago. This city is a real maze. We're going to get lost. What's your opinion, Captain? My opinion? You re... I think we should go home.
Halt. This is a restricted entrance for Palm Grove employees only. Wait a minute. A European just went through, and he doesn't work here. He's a sailor. No European sailor has entered here. What? Thundering tight. Leave it, Captain. Let's not start a fight. What kind of Berber monster is that? What in the world is Alan doing in a palm grove? The Aztec. Nincompoop. Ah! Hey! Be more careful, you walking cyclone. What? Me? Watch it yourself, parasite. Carpet seller? Freshwater pilot! <laughs> Bashi Bazook! <laughs> Tintin, let me introduce you to Muhammad. My old shipmate, and your true friend. Bashi Bazook! <laughs> If Alain just went into the palm grove, then he must have used one of the secret entrances. Where is it? It's a secret? But I'll come with you. That way, you'll go unnoticed. Thanks, brother. That Alain of yours is very close to Ben Salad. Watch out for those two. Let's go. worth knowing, Captain. Do you mean me? Or do you mean my connections? <laughs> we're going to get lost. I think we're getting there. Blistering barnacles. Oh, the Spun heat. Him. Yes, we're through, Captain. So, what now? Found it! Tintin, come on! Such a lovely man, your friend. Aye, he's a man. A leg up! My ancestor's shame is in all the books anyway. But real truth doesn't come from books. It's in our blood. Are you okay, Captain? Yes, all yes, okay. I'm right behind Everything is good.
I'll hoist you. I don't think Alan realizes. Bravo, Ten Ten. We are going to find what we're looking for, Captain. I'm not sure we're looking for the same thing. Tintin, come on! By any chance, a scout or something like that?
Ooh. Is it always this bleeding hot here? What? Oh. Ah! Ah! Huh? Give yourself up! Over here. And what if we don't find Alan? We'll ask Ben Salad. <laughs> I'd only just. Why do they always give me the heavy stuff to carry? If you move, I'll shoot! Play fair! Come out! Hey, you'll be seeing me! Why don't we turn back while there's still time? We're not going to give up now!
Oh, I don't like foreigners. I don't understand them. Why do I always have to look after the keys? Such a weedy fellow. Let me handle this. They're coming at us from every direction. Oi, fellas! A rocket? Do you think you know how to control it? No. It's more like a missile. Yeah, yeah! Over here! There they are! They're coming from all sides at once! What? Huh? You can it now, Apples! Get some help! Yeah! I'll take that! Hello, Master! No! 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 I'm a squad! That's a bazook! Someone being tortured. It's Bianca Castafiore. She's a diva captain. A consilience. So you call that music? I think I'd rather go back and fight. What now? We've got to find Alan. Let's go, Captain. We mustn't get caught. Not a sound. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Merci! I love you all! <laughs> oh, Tintin? The little reporter from Brussels? You've come all this way just to interview me again? <laughs> oh, and who's your friend? Ah, a fisher! 
Chairman, surely. This is Captain Haddock, ma'am. He's your most devoted admirer. What? Caro mio, how exquisite to see that the power of opera can reach out to even the roughest of souls. Please, uh, join me. Did you hear my performance? Quel succès! A standing ovation! Uh, what did you think of the jewel song, Mr. Bartok? I'll never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Flatterer. How funny you are. Just for you, Mr. Hard Rock, a tiny encore. <laughs> oh, to read, to worship Please! Madam? Oh, uh, yes, my little Tintin? I just spotted an acquaintance in the hall. Do you mind? Of course, my dear friend. Be my guest. I'll look after dear Mr. Shamrock for you. Huh? He'll keep me company during the intermission. <laughs> Why don't you stay with her? And I'll go and fight the crooks. No, no. Keep her occupied and I'll be right back. Dry dog! Oh, come closer, darling. Yes, yes, I can't wait, madam. Imbeciles! You mean to say the boy has two scrolls now? That must be Ben Salad. They're leaving. I've got to follow. Uh. How about helping me out? Okay. I'll bet Ben Salad is responsible for sending that scoundrel after the school. Ugh. Gosh, there are a lot of creepy crawlies in these hot countries. I want to know more about those scrolls. Can count on us. Hey! Oh, yeah! Yes! Oh. Oh. Ben Salad must have a good reason for abandoning his guests. The third scroll, perhaps? Murder a plate of couscous. I've got to go and feed my camel. This is where we split up, Birdie. I think we're going to have to approach from outside. It'll be quicker if we go this way.
it looks like that Ben Salad is already very rich. Why is he interested in the unicorn? Sound snowy. Good boy, Snowy. Keep it up. So Ben Salad sent Alan to get the Bird Brothers scroll. Then mine. Work in this palace. were lucky to escape with their lives. Leaving here by boat. Oh. Huh? Oh. Are you sick? Oh no, you don't. Get back here. Unicorn! At last! It's mine! Do you propose to steal it? Ben Salad! I know about you. I've seen under the palace. You're an imposter. You call yourself a merchant, but you're a merchant of death. And what are you? A sneak thief who has broken into my private home pretending to be a journalist. I'd have said we were very much the same. We're a world apart. 
But we're after the same thing. Ouch! Snowy! It's me, Tintin! <laughs> you see, even your dog cannot tell the difference. Huh? Hello again, matey. Now, why don't you hand over those scrolls? Ah. Time for a rematch, boy. You are. Uh, 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 hands where we can see them. them all. The captain will know what to do with these scrolls. I hope. Any idea if that... Give you... I recognize the sound of that voice. I must be getting near. business. What? I think I saw a rat. Thank heavens you're safe and sound. Oh, do you hear that? My public calls. I'll be back in an instant. Don't you dare move. <laughs> Tintin, that was a nightmare. Let's get out of here, quickly. I have all three scrolls, Captain. Look. Blistering 
barnacles. Hold it, boys! They're coming over the ship's rail! New quarter! The chippers! with me without certain formality. Forgive me. Look! 
curse you and your lily-livered descendants! You will never escape! We'll follow you all the way to your accursed island in Brittany! Good for nothing! Major Captain! Huh? <sighs> Captain, snap out of it! <laughs> what did you just say, Captain? What did the pirate say to your ancestor? Uh, 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 cursed haddock? No, after that. Good for nothing, mangy old cur? No, no, you just said, we'll follow you. All the way to your accursed island in Brittany. That's it. That's where we need to look. In Brittany. In France. What do you mean? Where's that? Northern France. It must be your ancestor's hideout. An island or a cave. Around here. <sighs> Are you ready to follow in his footsteps, Captain? Turns out your ancestor wasn't such a coward after all. Set a course for Brittany, Tintin. Nothing to find us. Relaxing. Lovely countryside, I must say. True enough. Fire. Oh. Like this with you, Tintin. Often, yes. Hooray! Put 
driving like this all the way to Europe, are we? Don't worry! Over there! Look! A plane! I don't know if I should be happy or not. Chin up, Captain! Do you think they're still behind us? We're not sure. Not really. Well, let's get a move on, then! Stop moving this plane around like that! You're making me feel queasy! We're taking fire!
camera on you. It's my job, I know. Well done, Captain. Are we landing now? Look out! Lava de Gavians! Ectoplasms! Pithy Well, do something, Captain! They haven't seen anything yet. The receptionists! Captain. We'll have to make our way across. There's a way in. Let's go. Alan and his men went this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Should be so kind as to remind me what we're doing here. The key to the mystery of the three scrolls is here. It has to be. Barnacles. Uh. <laughs> we spend more time in the water than on it. I'm used to the dampness.
creep up on us. Down. You've got to respect Haddock at least. Huh? Everything's all right. I'm coming. I'm just here. Should have stayed in that Arabian palace. Huh? It's the planetary. Hurry, Captain. Tintin, come on! Bravo, Tintin! A leg up? Stay alert. Like this is hard. I bet they've prepared a welcoming committee. I'll hoist you. Stay where you are! Yeah. 
Amigos, ¿es that you? I uh, met some acquaintances. Do you think my ancestor came here after the unicorn was shipwrecked? It's quite possible. Captain. Oh, 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 fire! 
Ten, ten. Snowy, come take a look. Snowy, help me. Captain. Oh! 
Time for Vertigo. Whoa, I know where he is. He was just here. He disappeared. Ancestors must have learned how to talk with the captain's ancestor.
Sir Francis Haddock sure knew how to protect his territory. This way, men! Alan! Him again! <sighs> the captain must be nearby. Captain! 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 Hey! Captain! Deserted island. Huh? Huh. Shout if you can hear me! I suppose that's what a thundering typhoon must be. Again, what a pleasure. Drop your weapon, Alan. Man to man. Man to pit squeak, more like. You're certainly a determined little tyke. Where we can see him. Ah! This fight will be mine. Defeat will be yours, you mean. Stop squirming. You expect me to hold still? Ah! Ah! Stop right where you are.
fight will be mine! Defeat will be yours, you mean. <laughs> this fight will be mine! Defeat will be yours, you mean. Quick running, kid! Out of the breath, ah. old man! Stop right where you are! Gonna end up a shark bait. Ah, quick running! Turn yourself in, Alan. And if I don't, you're gonna call them. Alan is not worth all these efforts. I'll be the judge of that. I'm fine. Thank you, Tintin. Help me, will you? Let's go and find my ancestor. Crosses. What do they mean? And this phrase, it is from the light that light will dawn. <sighs> the light. The light of day. <sighs> mm -hmm. Go on. Finish them! Lover scum! He's mine! Come on, boy! Ah! 
last sea lice! The cursed lubber, lubber! Go on, can't you see he's alone? Alone? No! No! My man! That's enough, Haddock. Let's finish this. He fought till the very end. They killed him? No. Regard me well, dog. I am Red Rackham. Your servant, sir. And I am Sir Francis Haddock. My ship is sinking, thanks to you. So I'm taking yours. My men are transferring all our booty now. Look. Oh, did you come here just to tell me that? No. I came to tell you that those who annoy me pay dearly for it. Tomorrow, at dawn, I shall hand you over to my crew. And that flock of lambs know just how to administer a lingering death. It will all be over at first light. Tomorrow is still a long way off, Rackham. What are you up to? So, you'd blow us all sky high, eh? Yes. Except you. I'll slit you from gizzard to gullet. Take that! Ah. Anachronism! The crisp liver, lubberly scum in There's no point in resisting, resisting, Haddock! to your unicorn, eh, Haddock? Well, she's already given up on you! I'll 
shave your beard! Come on! Heretic! Rasko! Megalomaniac! Miserable half bottoms up! Cursed haddock! A ship never abandons her captain. No more! Captain! You've done it! It will all be over at first light! That's the key! It is from the light that light will dawn! See? Blistering barnacles! Those are coordinates! Longitude and latitude! The location of the unicorn treasure. We've got to leave this island quickly. Let's go! I'll hoist you. Huh? Pickled herrings! Ah, iconoclasts! <laughs> Anachronisms! <laughs> get, get, get out of here! Looks like it's all over, matey! Not yet, Alan. Not so clever now, are you? Well, this is what it comes down to. You give me the scrolls, or I send Haddock to the bottom of the ocean. Lubber scum! Pithencanthropus! Come on, make up your mind. The scrolls or he dies. You are the worst of villains. <laughs> A thief with no honor at all. Now, free the captain. This is your big moment, Ernie. No! No! Let's <laughs> Shivering anthropods! Hurry! Did you get the scrolls back? No. You gave them up? Alan will be long gone by now. We've lost everything. Is that what you think? If only we had noted those coordinates from the scrolls. Ah. You mean 51 degrees, 18 minutes, 21 seconds north? 3 degrees, 11 minutes, 41 seconds east? Yes. 
What? I am Captain Haddock, direct descendant of Sir Francis Haddock. And I too have sailed the Seven Seas. The coordinates point to a location somewhere inland. I'd say Belgium, two miles northeast of Brussels. Marlin Spike! Watch your language! Where the first scroll was discovered. That's where they're headed. Then that's where we're going to. Aye, aye, Captain. Hold on for your life, Tintin! Anchor away! Thundering typhoons. Now those are some fine quarters. Let's go. Discreetly. Coming? Captain? Tintin, hand me the unicorn droid, will you? Together perfectly. Now we know where to look. What? 
to be intimidated by a bunch of goons. What? Stop! Who are all these servants with? What? Come with me! Come out. Whoever you are. Yeah. Oh. to come back. Who were the unicorns made for? For Sir Francis's three sons. His legacy, if you will. do with that? Hmm. I think I know. Let's go back to the naval room. Together? Let me see. And voila. This one does too. That's oh. all three of them. Let's try lining up the three circles. Are you 
right, Captain. Never been better. Ah. Ah. What? Hey. I beg you to stop. Over here. Oh. Huh? What? I see him. Hi. Bravo, ten ten. The manor will never be the same again. Bravo! Young Nigel, breathe in good pain, Salah. He's here too, with this band of two timing troglodytes. Let's go, Tintu. I'll check. Captain, show us your hands. Oh. Oh. What? Get out of here, you idiots! Oh, I beg you to stop. Uh. Oh. Orang attack! Bill oh. Macrocephaly oh. Baboon! Good gracious! I feel the man I will never do the same Take again. Take herrings! Captain, are you all right? I'm fine. Thank you, Tintin. Adak! Alan! Stand back, Tintin. It's up to me to put an end to this whole story. He's gone mad! Kneel before your captain! Grab apples! Lubberly scum! Oh. Ah. Ah. By <laughs> thunder! Ah. It's the treasure of Red Rackham. You're right. Look, look. Blistering treasures. It's Red Rackham's barnacles. We found it. <gasps> it's amazing. Emeralds, rubies, lots of shiny I... things. They're magnificent. And there's something else. What's this, Captain? A deed of some sort. <gasps> Signed by the king. I, Charles II, desiring to reward our loyal and beloved knight, Francis Haddock, for his daring and bravery in devoted service of his country. His daring and bravery. Do hereby grant him and his descendants the great manor of Marlinspike. Eh? Does that mean all this... Is mine. What's that? Let's go see.
there! Stop what you're doing! You're under arrest! Hey. To be precise, stay where you're resting. You're under a stop. Who are you? I'm Thompson. And Thompson. We're, We're police, police officers. officers. Gentlemen, there's no need for this. He's the owner of this manor. Hands off, tetrapods! Why, if it isn't our young friend Tintin... Precisely, it's Tintin, the young reporter. What are you doing here? We received a call about shots being fired, and the alarm was raised. To be precise, someone raised a call and shot the alarm. Uh, this is the captain's home. Mm -hmm. He's a brave and honest man. Someone you can count on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Everyone's coming with us. We'll sort it out later. Are my ears full of water again? Or did I hear you say, someone you can count on? To be precise, yes, Captain. A friend. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha.